today is going to be a really fun adventure. Really looking forward to doing this. It's been quite some time since we've been here. Pop Century. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah today. In this evening we're going to be hanging out here at Pop Century. Going to be meeting up with my good buddy Adam the Woo. Grabbing some dinner. I want to show you guys what the resort looks like since it has reopened. You guys are going to get to tag along. Before we get started, click that subscribe button if you're new. If you would like to support my channel, my Patreon link is down below in the description box. Now, let's take a closer look. And if you're wondering, I was standing in front of these suitcases that are on trailers that say Pop Century on them. Disney's Pop Century Resort. It is summertime here in Florida, so you never know what the weather is going to do. Luckily, I brought my umbrella with me. Man, it's so good to see Disney's Pop Century. And you can see to the left all the decades, 1950, 1960, 70, 80, and 90. This has always been one of my favorite resorts at Disney. For some reason, it just feels like Disney. Even the front of the resort feels so much like Disney. It's like a whole wall of hidden Mickeys. Now this is riding in style. Look at this golf cart. That's what I want to drive around. It's been a long time since I've been in this lobby and all the memorabilia they have from the different decades along the wall. Favorite one having to be the opening of Walt Disney World plaque they have here from the 70s. As you can see, lots of things. Now, see that doggy bag right there? I have that doggy bag and I have a few of these matchbooks as well. But there's different magazines, including the Life magazine. I'd like to get my hands on one of those. Check that out, some of the old coupons they have. I think I have that Mickey back scratcher, to be honest. I really do think I have that. Look at this, the first decade of Walt Disney World. All kinds of memorabilia to bring back some major nostalgia while you're waiting to check in. Even behind the check-in desk are some photographs from each decade. These are all from the 1990s. That was when I was a kid. That was a good decade. Dick Tracy, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Barney, Pocahontas, Encino Man. Oh yeah, it was definitely a good, good decade. And just like all over Walt Disney World property, the health and safety guidelines are posted pretty much everywhere. Something I never noticed after leaving the, the main lobby area, they have 50 and 60 out here. This one in tie-dye. And then they have 70, 80, and 90 over here. Just never turned around and noticed these. Taking a look at the directory, I believe I'm going to start in the 1950s era and make my way all the way to the 90s. I love the way the rooms look here. All the records and transistor radios. But let's be honest, the one thing that always makes me love Pop Century, as well as the Art of Animation and the All-Star Resorts, are the gigantic characters they have outside of the different decades. Right here you have Lady and the Tramp. And the one thing I never noticed was the doghouse right here. It's right next to Lady. And the pool is in full swing. Everyone's pretty much distance from each other. It's good to see it back though. The staircase here for the 1950s era is a bowling pin. You have to climb the bowling pin to get to your rooms. They also have an elevator, but the bowling pin seems a little bit more fun to me. Making our way to the 1960s era, which is home to the Hippie Dippy Pool. That's the name of the pool here. Also, Baloo and Mowgli are here. But first things first, check that out. It's an old school Duncan Imperial yo-yo. That's the staircase you take in the 1960s era. Straight ahead is the Hippie Dippy Pool. I believe it's in the shape of a flower, like a hippie flower. Kind of like the one you see here on the side of the building. In fact, those flowers are kind of taking over everything in this area, including the bathroom. But if you come to the 60s area, you can also make your way to the Art of Animation Resort, which is just a quick walk. And also you can hop aboard the Disney Skyliner. Totally forgot that they have a giant Play-Doh can right here, which you would play with as a kid. And they've actually made some Play-Doh friends hanging out the top. Completely forgot this was here. And more health and safety reminders as you're walking through. This one right next to the Hippie Dippy Pool. Completely mind blowing to me that the Jungle Book was made in the 60s. That's one of my all time favorite animated classics. 
All right, that's gonna do it for the 60s. Now heading down to the 70s, 80s, and 90s. If you've ever stayed here on property, what is your favorite decade to stay in? Mine probably would be the 50s or the 80s. Those are the only two I've really ever stayed in. But let me know what you guys like to stay at. And if you've never been here before, which one would you like to stay in? Who knew that Goofy surfed and also drove a sports car? Huh, you learn something new every day. Heading into the 70s era, your staircase is an eight track. That's pretty cool. You have to climb the eight track to get to your room if you don't want to take the elevator. Starting to feel very 70s in here. Look at this. There's a game of Twister out front you can play. Heading to the main courtyard, I believe, I see a Mickey telephone. As a kid, we always called this table soccer. I'm sure there's an actual name, like an official name for it, but we always called it table soccer. And what kid did not have a big wheel? I had a Batman big wheel. I still remember it. Had the Batman logo on the side of the tires and that little handlebar there. I used to pull that <laughs> and do some major sliding, let me tell you. And I always wanted one of these Mickey telephones. Still do. Maybe one day. I know landline phones are a thing of the past, but you know what? A guy can dream, right? Just notice that mood ring up there. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it's a real mood ring, like if you touch that, would it change colors? I believe this is supposed to represent the old disco dance floors where the squares would light up in different colors. That's gonna do it for the 70s. Moving on to the 80s, which was the decade I was born in. If you follow the perimeter of the resort, which is right next to Hourglass Lake, that connects you to a bridge that'll take you over to the Art of Animation Resort. All along the perimeter, they have little pop-up signs that will give you facts from each decade. Like right here, this one says 1983, the last episode of MASH draws the largest audience for a single TV show. 125 million viewers. Welcome to the 80s, where your staircase is a Rubik's Cube. Oh, and also, make sure you stop off and say hello to Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Totally forgot the side of a building is supposed to resemble Pac-Man. You see the little ghost up there? See, I told you, it's Pac-Man. I found him, he's right there. Standing on one of the largest keywords ever, I had a sports Walkman just like that. Straight up, I can still feel those headphones on my head. <laughs> Pretty awesome. And one of my all time favorite movies as a child was Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Look at that. One of the only places on Walt Disney World property where you can see this rabbit. Not 100% sure, but I don't believe they have anyone staying in the 80s decade area because you can see the pool here. No one here. In fact, I haven't seen anybody since I've been walking around here. It's quite eerie. But as you can see around the pool, there are definitely signs reminding you about the health and safety reminders. Definitely want to keep you safe. Oh yeah, in the restroom area at the 80 swimming pool is a giant computer. Seriously, that's what it is. There's the plug right there. And there's the floppy disk going into the computer. In fact, there's a whole stack of disk right there. Now this is quite impressive. The giant laptop. The details on this thing blow my mind. If you look, I'll zoom in. ABCnews.com, Disney's Animal Kingdom opens today, April 22nd, 1998. Look at the emblems to the left, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney's Animal Kingdom, but not Disney's Hollywood Studios. Still says Disney's MGM Studios. Aladdin's on here. The birthday cake castle, the Magic Kingdom's on here. <laughs> Total blast from the past, man. What a good decade. And that decade is the classic 90s, which is mind blowing to me that it's been over 20 years ago. Is it weird that I will occasionally buy a CD from a band that I like? Something about owning a physical copy. I can't explain it, it's just, Something I do sometimes. Give you guys just a little closer look there. Disney's MGM Studios. And the only bad part about the 90s era is 
the only gigantic thing they have here was that laptop. I would love to see like a giant genie or one of the animated cartoons from the 90s, you know, in giant form. Here's an idea for a refurb. They should put on the back side here, Max, Goof, and Goofy from a Goofy movie. Because I feel like a Goofy movie is like the ultimate 90s Disney animated film. Correct me if you think I'm wrong. But a Goofy movie is the ultimate 90s Disney animated film, for sure. And the staircase here in the 90s is a classic, doesn't say it, but it's basically a Nokia cell phone. Everyone had this cell phone at one point. And the number on there says 407, which is the area code here in Orlando, W Disney, which I believe is the old number to call for reservations. Okay, heading back towards the main lobby area gonna check out the gift shop and I believe I'm gonna grab some food with Adam I know the restaurant is not open for dining it's for mobile order only so I think we're gonna do a mobile order and find somewhere to sit and the mobile order is ready we got to pick up the food when you walk in you walk to the center part and pick up your bag of food no longer have access to where you used to pick up your food sweet dude look at that oh, oh. grab bags of goodies Grab the bacon burger and fries with a Coke Zero one at Disney. What'd you get? Some pasta, salad. salad. Today I'm having a little cheat day. I'm going with, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna eat the breadstick, but I'm gonna have the pasta and uh, meatballs. Nice. Smart water, some OJ. Man, you're doing way better than me, buddy. Got the OJ, got the water. It's awesome. Salad. And not every table is accessible. They're practicing the physical distancing in the restaurant as well, which is nice. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of the Everything Pop Shopping and Dining. Love this gift shop. Wanted to see the Pop Century merchandise. They have a magnet, shot glass, or a toothpick holder as they call it here at Disney, and a little cup, and even a t-shirt. Well, it is starting to rain. Dinner was fantastic. Good catching up with my buddy, and I'm glad I got to show you guys what the grounds are looking like. But I think our adventure for today has come to an end. Whew, starting to pick up. That rain feels amazing. I do have an umbrella, but it is chilly. I think our adventure for today has come to an end. Which means it's time to say goodbye. But if you enjoyed today's episode, please give me a big thumbs up. All my links are down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow on a brand new episode of World of Micah. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.